All right, so for question number two, we have to write the first four terms of the AP. When the first term, that is A, then the common difference D is given for these. And then the first one is A is equal to 10 and D is 10. So our first term is 10. And we know the second term forms of AP is A2 is A plus D and A3 is A plus D and A4 is A plus 3D. That is what we know about the form of an AP. So we know that the form of an AP is A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D. This is the first term, this is the second, this is the second term, this is the third term, this is the fourth term, it goes on like this. So our first term is 10 and second term will be 10 plus 10 which is equal to 20 and third term is 10 plus 2 into 10 which gives 10 plus 20 is equal to 30 and fourth term is 10 plus 3 into 10 which gives 10 plus 30 that's equal to 40. So this is this also part one and then moving on to part two so part two, first term is minus two, difference is zero. So first term is minus two. Second term is A plus B, which is minus two plus zero, which gives minus two. Third term is A plus two D, that is minus two plus two into zero, which gives minus two. Fourth term is A plus three D, which is minus 2 plus 3 into difference is 0. So that is minus 2 plus 0 is equal to minus 2. So these are the first, second, third, fourth terms for the second part. Moving on to the third one. So for the third part, first term is 4. Common difference is minus t. So our first term is 4. Second term is a plus d, which gives 4 plus of minus 3 that is 1. Third term is a plus 2d which gives 4 plus 2 into minus 3 which gives 4 minus 6 is equal to minus 2. And the fourth term is a plus 3d which gives 4 plus 4 plus 3 into minus 3 which is 4 minus 9 that's equal to minus 5. So that is part Three. Moving on to part four. Okay, so the part four is A is minus one and D is half. So our first term is minus one, second term is A plus D, which is minus one plus half, and that's equal to minus, okay. So yes, that's equal to minus half. The third term is A plus 2D and it's minus 1 plus 2 into half, which gives minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. And the fourth term is A plus 3D, which is minus 1 plus 3 into half, which gives us minus 1 plus 3 by 2, that is 2 minus 2 plus 3, which is half. Okay, so these are the first four terms of the EP for part four. And moving on to part five. So this is part five here. A is 1.25, D is minus 0 0.25. So obviously first term is 1.25. Second term is A plus D, which gives. So, <coughs> A is 1 minus negative 1.25, D is minus 0 0.25, which gives now 1.25 and 0 0.25 gives uh, it's 2.50, 0, negative 2.50. Sorry, it's negative 1.50. Okay, and the third term is A plus 2D, which gives A is negative 1.25 and plus 2 into negative 
0 0.25 this is negative 1.25 minus and it's 0 0.50 so that gives us so if we add them if we add because these both are negative so 1.25 plus 0 0.25 gives us 1.75 it's negative 1.75 that's our third term moving on to the fourth one is a plus 3d which gives what negative 1.5 plus 3 into d is negative 0 0.25 okay so this is negative 1.25 and it's negative so it's 0 0.75 and if we add them 1.25 0 0.75 it gives 1.95 which negative 1.95 that is our fourth term so this is our fourth term this is the third term and this is the second this is the first term so that solves our second question thank you for watching